Hello Pity Caterpillars and today we're doing products I want to use up in 2022 final update. We are about to walk into, probably the time this video actually goes up, we'll be in 2023, which seems so weird and so bizarre for me to say. I feel like just getting, I just getting used to the idea of 2022 and now it's like we're at the end, we're coming into a new year. Hopefully this year is better, hopefully the whole pandemic, the lockdown situations are better, although I had, um, <laughs> right before Christmas we had a giant snowstorm and the roads were closed for three days, so I finally just got to see my family yesterday oh, for Christmas, so that was really nice. Um, but anyways, let's get into the video. So if you see a bunch of snow outside the backyard, it is frigidly cold out there. It was minus 30 with the wind chill factor the other day, so that's been... Fun. Um, so let's get into the things that I did not actually finish up in time. One thing I want to give myself like a, at the point I'm filming this, it'll be, won't be done quite yet, but at the time it posted, it should be done because like I literally have barely anything left of this and this is my Milani press powder. As you can see, I have maybe one or two uses left. Like there is literally nothing left in this. So I am gonna count this done for the project because I want to use up one powder. I would like to count that to be done as a powder product because I want to use up one powder and I'm counting that one as the one because I repressed it and so it's just, it's just a tiny bit left. I just couldn't use it all this morning, but it will be done. I'm calling it done because there's so much. So I wanted to hit giant pan or make this pan bigger in this shade here and then I also wanted to use up my tiger eyeshadow which I did so I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna get rid of this pan because I only really like these couple shades in here and I've used up the one I actually like and every single palette has these light colors so I don't need to keep these around just for these light colors to use as eyelid colors because I've had so much of them so this one's just gonna go into garbage. We're just calling her done. Um, I did want to hit like a big pan of pan. I feel like I'd hit, you know, a decent amount. There's very big edges. So I would like to consider this one almost done. I'm a little disappointed in this e.l.f. one. I was hoping I'd have more um, finish out of it than I did, but that's okay. I will work through it and once I finish, these two shades here once i have these two shades finished here i think i'll just be getting rid of the pan because the, the palette because i don't really enjoy any of these shades here and i just have this little i've made a huge dent big big pan in this white one big pan in this one i finished up these two i think i wanted to finish up those two as well those are both gone have a big hole in this one didn't even plan on using this color but i am We'll just use these two shades up here and then probably that will be done at the same time and then once this palette's done, we're just gonna throw it out. So, didn't finish this one, but I did get really, really close. I am proud of the progress I made. I was just hoping to have more of it done. So I'm a little sad that it's not, but as soon as I am done this one, I will just be tossing this palette. It's the Nude Rose Gold by e.l.f. I love it. Um, really great colors. I love the rose gold color, so. I am a little disappointed, so I wanted to use up a seven, not seven, ten sheet mask, and I only used up seven, but I don't even have technically ten sheet masks anymore. I got rid of some. I have two sheet masks left, so I feel like that's an okay way to end the year. Yes, I wanted to finish up ten, but I didn't end up doing that. I finished up seven, and I didn't really use a ton of sheet masks. The only reason I used up so many of these was because I had the flu over Thanksgiving so I was taking a bath basically every day because I had a fever every day and I wanted to soak my achy bones in the tub so then I put a sheet mask on while I was doing that so I used up this pretty animal by Mastique Bar I used up this naturally upper canvas calming nourishing and hydrating sheet mask I used up this Danielle hydrating sheet mask I used up this blueberry sheet mask I used up my Sephora lychee uh, face mask I love these ones um, I used up this brightening sheet mask and I used up this one from that came in like some sort of Korean face mask subscription box. Um, the skin renewing program mask. It was a one that you put on your face and the one you put on your chin. Not a huge fan of these um, styles but I used up seven instead of ten so I'm a little sad. I 
we did use up a lot of products in this project pan. I've got most of them were used up. So I used up this Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. I am so glad that this bad boy is finally, finally done. Um, it was expensive for how much you got. Like it was $12 for 50 mils. And in my opinion, you can get like 100 mils or more for like $10. So it's more worth it. You can get a much bigger bottle of like a face mask that does the exact same thing for a lot cheaper. So yeah, I love the Ordinary, but just not that mask. I used up my professionals um, primer as well. I've scraped out every little bit I can get out of this bad boy. I'm sad to see it go, but I, um, I have a couple other little I think deluxe size samples that I'm gonna work through as well. But it's a really nice primer. If you're in the market primer, this one's really nice. This has been the bane of my existence for the past. I think it's been in two, maybe three project pans in the past two to three years. Um, products I want to use up, but I finally, finally finished this Wet n Wild contour stick. I am a little sad. I do miss it a little bit, like just kind of putting it on my cheeks. I just think that's something I feel like it's missing in my routine, but I am so, so glad that this bad boy is finally done. I am ecstatic. I cannot wait. Um, so proud of myself that I finally finished that. That took me a long time. I used up this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. I think that I used this one up very quickly in the beginning of the project. It looks really gross in this jar. And I am super glad to be almost done to throw this away. I wanted to use up three mascaras, and I did. I used up this Essence Volume Stylish Curl and Hold Mascara. I used up the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And I used up the little deluxe size sample of this Lancome um, Hypnostroma. I love this mascara. Um, I think I wore this on my wedding day, actually. Really, really nice wand, really nice mascara. Not worth the money, but if you ever get a sample of it, really, really nice. These ones were also nice, too. I did really like them. I do really like the Essence one, and I will definitely be purchasing and trying more of their mascaras. I'm really intrigued by them. Because they're nice mascaras for a good price, so. I used up both my eye creams. I used up this Eye Slick 2, um, Indeed. This one took me forever. It was the bane of my existence. I even used it on a face as a face moisturizer twice a day while I was away on holidays and it still like just held on for dear life. It just took forever. And I took scissors to my Clinique Pep Start eye cream. I love this. It's a basic like hydrating light under eye moisturizer. Really nice. I have repurchased this many a times and I probably will continue to repurchase this many times. I do love it. The facial spray that I had found in my original video, just in case you don't know, I've gotten rid of that. I tried it a couple times and I just threw it out because I was like, this is disgusting. I can't use this. So I have used up 19 chapsticks. I wanted to use up 10 for the year and I used up 19. I think that's even more than I did last year. I think last year I used up like 12 to 14 and I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty good. I used up 19 mascaras. It is not mascaras chapsticks. I have a problem. But I also live in Canada and my lips get very, very dry. So hence the minus 30 degree weather I've been dealing with this past week. Um, so I have used up like a smorgasbord and I have them laid out on the floor. <laughs> I can show you guys a clip of them. It's the same. I just promise this is all the chapstick I've used up. So, use the one. so 14 of those are the Nivea buttercream. As you can see, that is my favorite. There are two um, EOS ones at the bottom there and then two Nivea ones scattered in. I find the Nivea, the original one, I don't go through quite as quickly as the other one, but still an insane amount. I thought there was three of those ones. Oh, actually, just kidding. I've used up 20, 20 chapsticks in 12 months. That is a crazy and absurd amount of chapstick to use. And my lips are still dry and cracked because I live in Canada and it's inevitable in the winter. But that's all the chapstick I used up. I can't believe I've used up that much chapstick. That is insane to me. But that is everything that I used up. Uh, probably someone used up in 2022. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy with the progress I made. Um, I'm super excited. To we're going to be starting this project again next year because there's always things that I want to use up for myself in the year. So I've got some things that I'm hoping to just, you know, power on through. So we'll see if I get those done as well. So 
check back in my channel for that video coming pretty soon as well. Hope you guys enjoyed your 2022. Hope it was a decent year for you. I know the world's been kind of shit for the past two years with the COVID and lockdowns and all that stuff. But hopefully, fingers crossed, that's behind us and we can resume normal life. Um, whatever that looks like for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, see you guys later. Bye.